Hello everyone, Jungle Zen back at it again, schlubbing and loving it. Back with another installment of Schlub Unboxes. And you know, was it still mad at the world? Still sad? Still just hating everything? Just, just hate it, just hate it. So, what does that mean? More magic. And so, you know, it was another Walmart haul. So, I saw this thing. So, they've had the, whatchamacallit, the, the theme boosters that are to a color. But I noticed this one is very different. It says Monsters Theme Booster. Monsters specifically. That seems weird to me. I was curious, so I decided to get it. Then I got a couple more of these Battle Bond Crazy Boxes. So hopefully we can get the soon to be reprinted doubling season in this. Maybe some of those good uh, Battle Bond lands. We will see. And the very last Collector's Booster for Ikoria. Supercharged Booster Experience is the very last one that I saw over there. And this is probably going to be the very last one that I'll be able to crack. So, we're going to start small and go big to the end, right? So just join me for some unpacking and see what we find. So, Frank, Robert, still miss you guys. Miss you guys a lot. The world is less fun. Where are. Hmm. Hmm. It's because of that glue there. Let's get this open. Come on, you. Open. Open. Hey. Hey. I've opened a theme booster or two in my time. There we go. But this one not being tied to a color is weird to me. There's nothing else in there. So we got this. With a Lord Dracus in the front. The comic book art for Lord Dracus is amazing. So let's just see how this one shapes up. Alrighty, so we got Lord Dracus. Helica Glider. So angry. That they finally made a new squirrel in a standard set of all things and it's white it's not green and it's not black so no good for my commander uh, fully grown archipelago so by thundermane unexpected fangs uh, hey interesting interesting migratory great horn comic book volpakeet comic book so i wonder if you, i guess you're guaranteed a couple of comic books in this thing easy prey Trumpeting Gnar, Shredded Sails, Mysterious Egg, Stormwald Capador, Keep Safe. What was this one? Counter targets one that targets a permanent you control. Draw a card. I like that. Uh, Boot Nipper, Titan Othorex, Sudden Spinnerets, Main Serval. There we go. That's that Vigilance Cat. I see here. Splendid Mare, Raking Claws, Thieving Otter. Sanctuary Smasher, Solid Footing, Dreamtail Heron, Cavern Whisper, Heightened Reflexes, Farfinder, that's a neat card, uh, Glowstone Recluse, Pacifism, Will of the All Hunter, Tentative Connection, Avian Oddity, Gator Sandworm, Gust of Wind, and Sea Dasher Octopus. So I believe it says that you can get up to two rares including at least one rare or mythic card so sea dasher octopus got a bunch of you got a couple of you foil and a comic book uh, when it comes to uncommons let's see here that would be my cat if you hear my door opening My buddy Shadow. How you doing, buddy? Hmm? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve uncommons. Does it even say that on the back of the box? Uh, 35 cards, including one. At 25 minutes to start building a 70 60 card deck. Wasn't. 
Well, that's not bad front comments. The thing is, is that this is all right. Is it, there's black in there too. This is all five colors. So it's like you know, just add 25 lands and you got a deck. Like really, really, you got a five color deck with like no real mission and like singleton too. All right. So I was curious about this. It's a theme booster. That's all about mutate. Well. C Dasher Octopus was the rare. Got a couple of comic books, which I guess is cool, especially for a newer player. So that was that. Don't get the theme boosters, people. Not if you're not if you're an old salt in the game. So battle bond. Let's see. Crazy box number one. Oh, this plastic. I tell you, this whole, this giant box for four packs, it has to be, you know, Walmart theft deterrent. Just has to be. There you go, you see? As I remember, God, these, these every packs with all the spaces, that Japanese printing that I love so much. But I remember seeing displays of, was it Battle Bond? Was it, no, it wasn't Battle Bond. It was... Uh, unstable. That's right. So they would have the the blisters, where it's like three packs, like that. And I remember seeing these blisters popped open, and just they would just take a pack. They would just take a pack out like that or something. You know, it was so they've had to do all sorts of crazy things. So just like with the collector's booster here, instead of just being in the cardboard blister and then a wrapped up pack. It's this big box wrapped up in plastic and inside is a cardboard blister with the pack. So it's just, it's all theft deterrent. It's crazy. So let's see about these. Where is that infamous beauty pull tab? No, there we go, there we go, right there. Wham, love it. Love it, love it. Alrighty, so, twin land, boom, Bramble Sovereign. Heck yeah, that is good, 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 that's good, yeah, but that's good. And look at me being unprofessional here. You know what that means? We got us a healthy, healthy mimic, uh, mythic, excuse me, I was gonna say mimic, and oh, I am not set up at all. My apologies, people, because we're on the value train, the value train, chugga chugga choo choo, boom. Let's see, did we get any good uncommons? Uh, Blood Feud, Arescos Explorer, I think that's a little bit decorated champion. Nothing else of note, but we got us good mythic. And I believe I traded like one or two extras that I had uh, towards, the, towards the lands that came in unsanctioned. A buddy of mine got those just for the uncards. He's like, I don't care about the lands. He's like, I want those lands. So I got those lands off of my good buddy. Give me just one moment. Gotta go feed the beast. There you go, buddy. Right there. All right. So onwards and upwards and always twirling towards freedom. Where are you? Nope. There you are. And bam. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So let's see here. Uh, Goblin Rage Runners. Bleh. No value. No value. But uncommons. Nope. Angelic Gift, that's a fun card. Last Gasp is a fun card. Some fun commons, but no value on that train. Mm -mm. Back you go. And pull tab, pull tab, pull tab, pull tab. Pull tab. Bam. Oh, you know what? I'm a Texas boy, man, but I'm ashamed that the crappier magic product comes from Texas. Uh. Game plan, no, no value, no value. Any value in comments? No, no value. No oh, value. Doom Traveler, one of my favorite cards. Elvish Visionary. Expedite. Some fun, fun comments. Fun comments. Alrighty. Boom. Last pack in box number one. And bam. Alrighty. We didn't get any partners either. Magara of Karondor. 
that card has some value. Some value. Uh, nope. Nothing good, man. Not even a freaking source of plowshares. None of that. Mm -mm -mm. Well, we did get we did get one good mythic. Not a great mythic, but a good mythic. So that was box one. Let us go to box two. gets old. Alrighty. Mirror token. Mountain. A foiled peace strider. Ooh. Another Mangar of Karundar. Jeez. Alright. Fine. And Beast Within. Good uncommon. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You know what? I, I know Mangar of Karundar sees play. So I want to see what is that thing going for? Indulge me for a moment. Where is my? I did it. I like to use Scryfall for just a quick look. Uh, it is Mangara. Mangara. I got Crundor. Oh, not even. So if you look over here, Battle Bond 45 cents. Time Spiral 51 cents. Nope. Not at all. Not at all. All right, boom. Tab, pull tab. Pull tab, and tab I am. So here we go, boom, boom. Megas of the Candelabra, yeah. No, wow, Jesus. Jesus, I'm surprised I got that Bramble Sovereign. Because it's looking like these packs of Battle Bond that came out of nowhere it looks like they're just crap packs. I've had like almost no luck with these. Vigor, that's a fun card. I don't think it's worth much. Blaring Recruiter and Blaring Captain. Tenacious Dead is a fun card. Hoo wee. Oh man. As Rudy would say, I am on the bust of Pound Town over here. Ugh. And. Newscraft mob. Oh my god. Slowly Corruptor and Slowly Renewer. Angel of No, man. Not even good on commons, man. Jeez. Even though there's potential in these freaking Battle Bond packs, I don't think I can continue with these. I do not think I can continue. So, Vigor. You know what? Let's take a quick look at Vigor. Because Vigor is a fun card. If you haven't seen it, it's a 6-6 six, six trample for 6 with 3 green pips. So if you're looking at devotion, that's not bad. Uh, was it a, And for elemental decks, it's also not bad. 6-6 six, six trample. If damage would be dealt to another creature you control, prevent that damage. Put a plus one plus one counter on that creature for each one damage prevented this way. It doesn't do it to itself, but to everything else. And then if it's put into a graveyard from anywhere, you shuffle it back into the library. It's a lot of text. Sounds really, really good. But I don't think... There's much of it. So it's just oh, vigor. And a lot of things with vigor in the name. Yeah. It was reprinted mystery boosters too. Four bucks. That's barely the price of the pack. So I still can't call that value. So out of everything so far. It's Bramble Sovereign for the win. Alrighty. So. Ikoria Collector's Booster. But, before I do that one. This is my Urza Headmaster box of packs that I've been collecting for Booster Tutor. Along with the, um, the Contraption deck and my ban board that I use with a spike tournament grinder because you get a, a card that's been banned from a format for Phyrexian mana. So 
with everything that's been going on and just the cruddiness that I've been feeling lately. And also for the fact that I haven't been playing Headmaster too much. And when I have played Headmaster, I haven't gotten Booster Tutor. I'm getting real antsy with some of these packs I put away. And I put away a few special packs. So today, because YOLO, I'm going to open up this Mystery Booster. This Ikoria Collector's Pack and this Theros Collector's Pack. And I'll fill this up with other stuff later. Like I've just, I've gotten some random boosters before. So right now, what's what's left, the big boy will be then Modern Horizons. Here I have a Throne of Eldraine, and here I have a War of the Spark. So those can get old, and I won't care much. Those other packs will get old, and I'll just be like, I could have opened that bastard months ago, whatever. So these I'm going to open. So we will do Ikoria Collectors last. So here we go. We're going to do the Mystery Booster that I put away so long ago with my Mystery Booster box opening. My first uh, Magic the Gathering therapy for when I was angry at the world due to COVID. I finally get to finish that box. And if I could just, there we go. This is also a little bit easier for me because there's a restock coming. So here we go. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. It, mystery boosters, you, you don't know what the heck you're gonna get. So, Ink Fathom Divers, Tidal Wave, Coat of Venom, Dinosaur Hunter, Pyrotechnics, Frontline Devastator, Naturalize, Crop Rotation. Oh, wow. That's good. Uh, Soul Ring, holy crap. Goblin Game. Hey, Torian Muller, Foil Form of the Dr Whoa! <laughs> These aren't big hits by any means. But it's three rares, one of them foil. And then I also got Soul Ring, which is a commander staple. And what was the other interesting thing? Oh, yes, and Crop Rotation. Crop Rotation's a good card. So yeah, so Crop Rotation, Soul Ring. Oh, that makes me happy, the Soul Ring. Goblin Game. Um, my buddy Robert, you know, Robert, you really made this stupid card work in that crazy ass copy of Spell a Bajillion Times deck. And man, did I hate it, but you made it work. You were clever than the mother. Torian Mulder. And just Form of the Dragon. Just, just, this was fun. This was a fun pack. Put you there with the other rares. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna put the crap rotation and the soul ring along with the rares too, because those are good. So mostly I believe for the crop rotation and the soul ring. I think I have to call that a value train pack. Look at the value train for soul ring and crop rotation. It's amazing that crop rotation is freaking common. Alrighty. Boom. Theros Beyond Death Collector's Booster. Prepare for the shinies. The foil it blinds. So, funeral rites. Vexing goal. Look at how that looks, man. Uh, deny the divine. Lysian created. The swamp. Slaughter priest of Mogus. Mystic repeal in foil. Mm. Field of ruin in foil. Ooh, yes. Foil swamp. Oil Mountain. Mm -hmm. I almost forgot about those lands. Serpent of the Yawning Depths. I like that guy. Protean Thaumaturge. Bleh. Ashiok's Eraser and Foil. Um, freaking um, Showcase Elspeth. There we go. A foil Renata. And a Cedar. Slash Wolf. So. Elspeth. Erasure. Serpent, Thaumaturge, the two lands, Field of Ruin. That's a lot of cards of note. Field of Ruin is a very good land, and I got it in foil. 
of course those things command a little bit of money right there uh thaumaturge no serpent of yawning depths that's that's good to get in the collector's booster rather than having to buy the um the theme booster and pray you get it ashax erasure and then fake right there one mythic is not bad not bad not bad it was a like I said, there's a lot of cards of note in that booster. So I believe that that is also value train. Value. Value. Put you all up in dare. And shinies can go with that pile of stuff. Alrighty. Collector booster that I put away for Urza. So let's open you up. Prepare for more shinies. Cause YOLO. Boy do I know that now. Shiny Beast. The Shiny Soldier. Prickly Marmoset. Dismal Backwater. What a waste of a foil. A Gloom Pangolin. I think that's a beautiful foil. Blade Benish. Ooh, Dire Tactics in foil. Exile target creature. If you don't control a human, you lose life equal to that creature's toughness. Instant speed, two mana. Exile. Beautiful. Alert heal bunder, heat bunder, excuse me. Oh, the, the art for the lands of in the Ikoria set is just amazing to me. Titan Hunter, commander product. At the beginning of each player's end step, if no creatures died this turn, deals four damage to that player, and then you can sack off a creature to gain four life. Neat. Whoops. Uh, extended art Umori. Alrighty. Foil Mythos of Brokos. I think I popped one of these in. Um, uh, in the kits I did yesterday. Cavern Whisper. Porky Parrot. Hey, Comic Book Vivian. Cool. Foil Durat the Perfect Pet and Foil Dreamtail Heron. Boom, that right there is like 18 bucks. And then... Let me see. Those... Why was there... I'm dropping cards. I heard myself drop cards. There we go. Drop that land. Stupid. I know the Godzilla cards, especially the foil ones, have some sort of value, but the uncommon ones, not really. So. Hey, Frankie, there's... I know you know this guy better than I do. I know you do. You would see this picture and you would laugh. But that's what I got, and that's the big in there. So, I at least got one really nice hit, but not the pack's worth of the hit. So, as much as I want to really cry value train on this pack, it really wasn't. Just, the Vivian's very, very nice. So, put that away. Now, if I had gotten that Vivian off of a regular Ikoria pack, that would have been screaming value day, value train all day long. Give me just a minute here. I want to return... My cat's food back to its spot on the table. There we go. Last one. Last one, probably ever. Eh. So there we go. We get in the box. And then we have the cardboard blister. And then we rip open the cardboard blister to get to the meaty pack inside. And then we open up the pack. And we got a shiny cat token. So, shiny cat with... Oh, my favorite human on the back. Nice. Full Dreamtail Heron. Sun Spinnerets. Shredded Sails. Boot Nipper. Charge of the Forever Beast. Momentum Rumbler. Island. Deadly Rollick. Yes the free if you have a con if you control a commander mm -mm -mm. you know what's interesting about this it says if you control a commander i wonder if you could use a steel spell a gain control of and control somebody else's commander could you still cast this for free that's a rules question i want to look up because it just says a commander not your commander but also these cards these freebie cards with the exception of the green one, they're all over $10. So I'm glad to get that hit. Really, oh, oh, oh. 
Extended Art Mythos of Mithroi. Shiny Garuda. Glowstone. Doo -doo -doo. Boom. Comic Triumph. <gasps> Holy. Oh my god. That is the one. The absolute one I wanted. How the fuck? Frankie, you did this for me. You son of a bitch. King Ghidra is my f the f my favorite of the Godzilla beasts. Oh man, and this guy is pricey too. Like just this is like sixty bucks, I think. Last time I checked. Let's take a look. Let's see. Well, first off, first off, value motherfucking train. Value a uh, to you with a value. But let's take a look. Let's take a look. Holy crap. This is Ghidorah, G-I-D-O-R-A-H. Boom, right there, what is it? Ghidorah, King of the Cosmos. And he is collector number, come on camera, focus up. 379, 379, 6653. Oh man, holy crap. That is, oh. mm, 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 mm. that, what an amazing pack, and probably my last pack. Big Daddy there. Kick-Ass Comic Triome. Foil Companion, even though they got nerfed. I think this is still a good card. And it's legendary, so you can make it your commander. Um, and the commander, the free spell. Oh, man, I just, oh. Man, this, this makes me happy. It's not a replacement. If you know what I mean. But this makes me happy. Wow. So let me see if I can't get another picture. Something else for YouTube to help me make a thumbnail rather than the crappy ass thumbnails it's been giving me. So I'm just going to keep this up here for a little bit. But yeah, thank you for joining me on this one. I was able to forget for a little bit. And suddenly get reminded maybe you were able to forget maybe you were able to crack a smile just thank you for joining me on this one stay schlubby my friends